Specialist Joinery South use a variety of timber species to manufacture the desired joinery product. All of these species are FSC and PEFC approved from 100% sustainable sources. Although many timber species can be sourced and used for your desired joinery, two species continue to grow in popularity, Okoya and Oak. Specialist Joinery South source their timber from the most reputable mills and companies from around the globe. A large quantity of their timber comes from Associated Timber in Lincolnshire. We spent a day with Managing Director Andrew Ladowski to follow the journey of an English oak tree from felling to timber product. The most important thing about felling is the fact that each tree that is felled, several are replanted or there's a very strong scheme of regeneration. Most of the policies today within the United Kingdom especially, although this is trailing through to Europe, is what we call continuous cover forestry. That means that the, the, the trees could be 150 years old down to 10 years old, right through that whole angle variation in age. The most important thing is this allows the biodiversity of the woodlands where, for example, animals can carry on living there, the insects can continue, the flora and fauna all carries on as, as normal, even though the crop is then utilised commercially for the industry. We met Andrew in a woodland no more than five miles from the sawmill. The Forestry Commission are in the process of continuous cover felling some of the large oak trees in this area. This is where our journey began. The first step is to fell the tree. A qualified and experienced cutter uses a chainsaw for this process. He moves around the tree removing the root stubs. This is the first step to ensure the tree falls in the desired direction. A wedge is then cut into one side of the tree. This drastically destabilizes the tree on the wedged side. The cutter then proceeds to cut right through the lower trunk of the tree, leaving a small section intact. Steel wedges are then knocked into the cut to encourage the tree to fall. In this case, the steel wedges weren't up to the task. Heavy machinery is brought in to finish the job. Now the tree is on the ground, it's dressed out. This process removes any branches from the tree that may impair its journey out of the forest. Heavy machinery then removes the trunk by simply dragging it to a holding space ready to be delivered to the sawmill just five miles away. After the tree trunks have been delivered to the sawmill, heavy machinery pick them up and transport them to the mill house. The trunks are then placed onto a chain conveyor belt that moves the trunks up towards the positioning and movement machine. The trunk is rotated to the best possible cut position. The trunk is then moved down towards the band saw where it meets its first precision cut. A large circulating strip of steel with sharpened teeth slices into the trunk producing the desired cut. The cut strip of timber is then dropped onto a smaller conveyor system and moved down to be processed, measured and numbered. The cut slices of timber are then stacked on top of each other whilst leaving small spaces to aid the drying process. The timber is then moved to the timber store yard where it may stay up to a year to air dry. The air dry timber is then moved onto a sliding pallet system that pulls the timber into a kiln. The kiln artificially dries the timber down to the appropriate moisture percentage. The next step cuts the dry timber to usable sections. 
This is the first point that the timber starts to take shape as a usable material for specialist joinery south. Associated timber also use a process called finger jointing. This joinery process allows for defects to be removed from a piece of timber. The cut pieces of timber are then glued back together using a finger joint. The finger jointing machine cuts a multitude of complementary V-shaped slices into the ends of the timber whilst covering in glue. These pieces of timber are then pushed back together, fixed and then moved to one side for drying. Once the process is complete, a solid quality piece of timber, free from defects, remains. The timber is then sent to the dry storage holding yard. The timber is kept in temperature controlled buildings to await delivery. Specialist Joinery South manufactures their joinery in a large choice of timber species. Sweet chestnut, oak and okoya remain a popular choice for many customers. No matter what your choice of timber, you can be assured that it comes from a certified sustainable source, will stand the test of time and most of all be the beautiful wood species you desire.